they uh, raise the dance. At least I passed the mission, guys. It was a complete mess. I don't, I should have looked up to see how you can blow up the gas station easy. For some reason, when I, when I toss the grenades, it doesn't work. So, much props to um, Rockstar for fixing some of the weapons mechanics in uh, GTA 5. All right, yeah. <laughs> so, let's just move on to the next. Don't make me kill you. going to split. Sorry to hear that. Feel free to browse, buddy, but don't try anything funny.
I'm here to see Mr. Gravelli. I was sent by a mutual friend. Come on. Uh, someone here to see you. Here. Oh, so you're the one who's getting involved with that nonsense for my dear friend, James Pegorino. I don't know what Spare you're... Spare me, please. I'm an old man. I ain't got much time left. Our mutual friend told me everything. Thank you. It made me <laughs> <laughs> My pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> people are so damn vain. Some people? <clears throat> All people. Even you, even me, an old man facing the end. And I still care. Care how I look. Care that when I shit myself, the pretty nurse has to clean it up. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah, well, uh, <sighs> you know. And I care about my legacy. I've worked hard for this, this line of work. Now some Russian assholes think they can march in and take control of rackets my family has run for 50 years! <laughs> you mean 50 years of you bleeding the city dry might finally <laughs> come to an end? <laughs> I know, it's a terrible <laughs> tragedy. <laughs> But if it wasn't me, it would just be someone else. So it might as well be me. Yes. Let me tell you, that faggot friend of yours, Bernie Crane, his boyfriend, he's being blackmailed by them damn Russians. They want him to put certain contracts up for tender. Windows, bus lines, cleaning, ones we control. These Russian fucking bastards are trying to finish us. What do you want me to do about it? I want you to work with me. In exchange for what? The police have a file on you an inch thick. In exchange for that. In exchange for that guy you've been asking about being brought here from wherever it is he's hiding, Switzerland or some shit. Okay, good. What do you want me to do? A good friend of mine is coming into town to give a speech on the new threat to Liberty City. Russian organized crime. I got a feeling some people ain't gonna want that speech to happen. Maybe the guy you love, this Dmitry Raskolov, has an interest in keeping the story out of the press. Make sure our boy gets to City Hall. <laughs> He's coming in from upstate. He'll be at Grand Eastern Terminal on Bismarck. <laughs> Thank you. I just sound crazy, but I feel like that cutscene was a little longer than usual and I'm wondering if it's because I literally did everything else I could do before going to see him because like the fact that he talked about like everything I was doing up to that point I feel like in the past I've just kind of gone to him as soon as they said oh go see Gravelli I, I have and I don't know that I've ever done like every other contact mission and then gone to see him so I'm going to ask you guys if you can and I guess I could always Google it later, but if you happen to know, can you leave me a comment and just tell me if that cutscene changes based on what you've done before you go to see him? Because that was that was pretty long. Um, so yeah, yeah, just let me know. I mean, this, I know there's a lot of Grand Theft Auto heads out there. I mean, not that I'm not one. I am. I just I feel like there's always something different with this game. You know, they. I mean, as it is, is you know, you play it two two times straight through and kind of like have a different outcome each time so who's to say like some of the cutscenes don't change too because I know I mean 
there's different endings, there's different outcomes, there's different choices you can make. You know, I told you I messed up before because I, I wanted to uh, spare that one guy. Oh, hold on. As much as I'm enjoying the doctor scrubs, oh, you know what? Forget it. I was going to try to change my clothes, but you know what? I'm going to stay in the doctor scrubs unless it tells me I have to change. Maybe it'll change me into business attire. Hey! Yeah, that definitely felt like a longer, different cutscene. So yeah, just let me let me know, guys, if you don't mind. Oh, why? Why? I'll kick your teeth in. Don't get in my way. Wait, what? How did I scare him off? Is it because I wasn't in proper attire? Maybe I was supposed to like see that guy first. Man, there's way too many mission fails going on lately, and I'm sorry for that. But I really, I, I don't, I don't know what just happened. Oh man, I can go all the way back there. You know what? Fast travel. Yeah, maybe I was supposed to like talk to that guy first. So, uh... Man, I'm messing up all over the place. I think it's because I've just been too much on GTA Online. It, We're here. You guys waiting for me? Nico Bellic, right? Yeah, that's me. Stay in convoy with us all the way to City Hall, all right? Sure. Now I can get in the car. John, how are you? Of course. Well, I'm coming to see you as soon as I've delivered the speech. Don't say that, John. You'll be feeling like a teenager again in no time. Those are the wonders of modern medicine. Oh, I'm gonna bring up everything we discussed. When I'm done at the podium, Mayor Ochoa is gonna be dedicating half his annual budget to cleaning this problem up. <laughs> he doesn't want to start getting reckless with the lives of Liberty City voters. No, John, if it's your problem, it's my problem as well. Take a deep breath, John. That's it. I'll talk to you later. Driver, why is this road closed? Is there a problem? Another roadblock? This definitely wasn't mentioned on the traffic report. I'm gonna go and move the barriers. Come on, Mr. Jefferson! Let's get out of here! They won't stop at anything, these people! If I get out of here, I'm gonna wish they never got off the boat here! What is it? Go! 
off your fucking head! Your lucky day! You've got to get us to the Civic Citadel. Shit! He's gotta go! That was a mistake they didn't want to make. If you're gonna try to take out a politician, you better take him out for sure. Thanks for the advice. American gangsters like John Gravelli understand the way life works. It looks like these men really want you dead, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> that was a real person! Politicians are as crooked as the gangsters. They don't understand that things are different here. Yeah, sure. You are as clean as the driven snow. I'll explain that important cultural difference to one of these Russian gangsters if our paths cross. What the hell? Hmm, that actually does look like City Hall. Pretty cool. Yeah, I've actually um, been there a couple times myself, checked it out. It's nice enough, you know, it's nothing like to go crazy over, but yeah, it's a nice place. I don't know who you are, but you got me here. Goes to show, some immigrants have the best interest of the country in their hearts. I'll tell John you did well. Mr. Grovelli, I took that friend of yours to City Hall. He should be giving his speech any minute. Yeah, yeah, good. I heard you had some trouble along the way. You can always rely on those Russians to try something. How are we supposed to compete with these immigrant criminals when they want it so bad? You're working with me, aren't you, Mr. Grovelli? See you later.
you all screaming about? You never seen a doctor before? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna stay in these scrubs. I'm not even changing. We're all about How about conflict that? Conflict resolution in here, pal. Stay safe. Stay Second Amendment. Oh shoot, I just realized um, this is going on a bit. So let me, <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys just watched me get ammo and everything. Yeah, let me just stop it right here. Thanks for sticking around. Nico loves doing that. And yeah, I keep doing these um, outros, but thanks for uh, coming along and we'll start this off in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.